A normal wedding, you know, you talk about the bride and groom, this beautiful couple, but not these two. These two are very roastable. notorious for PDA, whether it's tonguing or spanking. I think for, for most of us, we'd ask that you please stop. But now that we're here with the parents, this type of stuff is learned. So I don't know what mom and dad were doing in that household. Jeff flew to Hawaii for my wedding and stole my thunder by proposing to Austin just days beforehand. So with that, I'd like to invite my wife Libby up here to renew our vows in front of all of you. Like you gotta be the troll. <laughs> Jeff, you know that Austin, like a cat, is so vain. So to keep her happy, you're honestly gonna have to take pictures of her for the rest of your life. Cover the mirrors in your home. She gets stuck there for hours. Austin, what are you getting in this man? You might think that I was just roasting him this whole time, but I'm actually not just calling out his failures. I am calling out his perseverance through all of these failures in life. He is a guy that's going to roll with the punches. He is going to battle through things, and he's going to fight for your love. And yeah, I appreciate you guys letting me do this. I had a great time doing it. Love you guys. Austin, sweetheart, I love you so much. Horses, they run and pound the earth like thunder. The courses, they run crushed in the wind. You've been filling my life with joy for 29 years. Your academic and professional achievements alone are beyond impressive, but it's honestly really all the other things that come to mind when I think about you. The things that make you, you. Like the hammer in the heart of the maker. Neither of us were blessed with a sister, but we were blessed with each other. She rapidly became my first best friend. I am beyond excited and happy that my built-in big sister has found her happily ever after. If anyone deserves it, I promise you it's her. The ships tow their lines beneath the stars and wonder at the source of their light. I have no doubt in my mind that you'll have no problem communicating and compromising for years to come. So let's all raise a glass to Austin and Jack. We wish you a lifetime of happiness, splitsies, and all the pleasures that searching will bring. I love you guys. Cheers. Jeff, you brought out a light in Austin that I've never seen before. Thank you for loving her, caring for her, and supporting her to no end. Thank you for always knowing how to make her giggle and be silly and put a smile on her face. Did I crawl out of the creek bed, off the sea floor? Maybe just to live like this, do we get everything we hope for? I think there's one thing that makes Jeff and Austin special guys. I think that they both deeply appreciate the uniqueness in one another and that they love it about each other. I'm so happy that you guys found each other. Uh, and as much as I'll always treasure the first that Jeff and I shared together, I know that his most meaningful first are still to come with a new partner in crime. By the heart of the maker. Keep it together. You. Keep it together. You. How about you? The ceremony is in for like two more hours. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>
Austin and Jeff, by bringing us here, you've recognized the role that our collective friendship and connection plays in your relationship. You've recognized that your relationship doesn't exist in a vacuum. You've got us. You've got a whole community right here. And this is a community that you've created and brought together from faraway places to be right here. Thank you for giving us a chance to be a part of it. Five years sober, not a second older. Jack, one of my favorite things about you is how you make other people feel. So when I think about the infinite reasons why I love you, the frequent common denominator is really simple. You make me feel more alive. Loving you makes me feel more like myself. I feel more comfortable with you than anyone else on this planet. And when I'm down or anxious, your presence brings me immediate relief. Like I'm wrapped in a cozy blanket. <laughs> You make me excited to start each new day, and I love you with every fiber of my being. Jeffy, you have felt like home to me for a long time. I'm so excited for all of the adventures ahead of us, and I feel so lucky to marry you, knowing that wherever we go together, I'll always be home. Austin, I love you. Your partnership completely transformed my outlook on life and feelings of self-worth. My self-confidence was pretty low before I met you. Your love immediately made me feel whole and gave me a huge boost of confidence in myself. I love how much you love animals and appreciate bringing our cats into my life, even though you really shouldn't have adopted them without asking my permission. <laughs> I love how silly you can be and when you smile so hard that your eyeballs disappear. <laughs> I love you for who you are at your core and that you're unapologetically yourself. Austin, I love you and I couldn't be happier that I could spend the rest of my life with my soulmate. So now, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. In the legal industry, it's difficult to bill your clients by the hour. And I recently discovered that one hour with the Esquire Jeffrey D. Loudsbury costs you $275. I don't know what Austin's rate is, but I have to imagine it's higher than Jeff's, knowing everything I know about these two. Jeff and Austin, may your years be joyful, may your days be silly, and may your hours be worth at least $275. And when life gets you down and you come upon tough times, may you always know you have a loving partner at your side to tell you it is what it is. <laughs>